members of the city council. I was out for my yeah. morning constitutional when I saw the lights on. It's for on. So is the mic on? Stop in. The mic is on. You're just going to want to pull it up a little bit more. My name is uh, Lou Benton. I reside here in the city of Saratoga Springs. I've been here for 78 years. Of course, uh, I don't attend council meetings, or, or, nor have I ever watched you folks uh, on uh, on uh, TV when they. Uh, yeah. But somehow I felt compelled to stop by this morning. I am hoping that between now and the time that you hold your final hearing on the proposed budget, that you take some of the comments that have been uh, shared with you uh, on uh, social media uh, and in person to heart. Uh, I fear that the budget as currently proposed is uh, substantially underfunded in terms of expenditures. And of course, we have grossly overstated several major revenues. I can't quite understand or fathom why the public safety budget has been reduced as much as it has. In the aggregate, you are going to overspend your public safety overtime budgets this fiscal year by several hundred thousand dollars, not by 10,000, not by 20,000, but by hundreds of thousands of dollars. And though I don't follow this very closely, I do understand there might be some extenuating circumstances that have driven those costs this fiscal year. But you cannot budget next year substantially less than you even budgeted in 2022. I don't understand the rationale. If there had been a rationale that had been explained, when the budget was originally presented to the public, perhaps many of these questions would be unnecessary. Over time has always plagued police and fire service. Administration after administration after administration tried to rein in the rapid increases over time. It's a fool's game. Mandatory shift requirements. I understand there was a debate this year about the need to run four firefighters on a bumper crew. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And I understood the other evening that some member of the council may have suggested that previously there never was that requirement. Is that correct also? You're wrong. I implemented a four minimum Fire pumper crew Wasn't 20 me. some odd years, 30 some odd years ago. This council does not seem to have any institutional knowledge. And it shows in this budget. You can't spend, you cannot budget more for mortgage tax next year than you know you're not going to get. You can't budget more in hotel tax as you have that you know you're not going to get. These are the major items. I'm only talking about those for the time being. And all due respect to all the employees here, you may have to seriously consider skipping giving major salary increases to political appointees for a year or two. A hundred thousand dollars or close to it for a deputy commissioner, I think is adequate. Perhaps they could skip a year or two. You cannot continue to hire outside counsel when you have not 
appropriated the money to do so. Nor apparently have you transferred monies to cover that deficit. You have $20,000 in the current operating budget for professional services in the city attorney's budget. $20,000. To date, according to finance, you spent over ninety. I see no transfers to cover that $70,000. plus thousand dollars. You can't do that. You can't spend a line item that is not capitalized any more than I can write a check for my mortgage if I don't have the money in my checking account. The state controller's office will have a field day if they ever audit this. An I've... absolute field day. Your time is up. My time is up, and hopefully, thank you for your kindness. Uh, would you allow me one more minute? Sure. Thank you so much. So I, I urge you, I plead with you, please go back, look at these major revenues. Are you, are you really convinced that you're going to realize those next year? And for God's sakes, look at those expenditures, those large items, because if you're going to budget, budget less than $200,000, as is proposed, for fire and police overtime, you are going to adopt a budget with a multi-hundred thousand dollar structural deficit. And I plead with you not to do it. Not to bequeath to the next city council, which may possibly have two new members, a budget that is not operable. So thank you for your kind patience, and thank you for allowing me uh, a few extra moments. Please take my comments to heart. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate them. Um, I just want to clarify for the sake of all present here, as well as those who may be watching this. Um, most sales tax, most taxes actually, um, occupancy tax, they are often routed first, they're collected by state and then routed through county uh, to us. So it's not always exactly at present. What I'm trying to say is that many taxes have a two to three month lag. And so if you're looking at something year to date, that's not giving you an accurate figure as of October. Because what it means is that it's as of you know several months ago. Um, and so we often do projections. Now keep in mind, the folks in the finance office um, have taken a lot of time looking at uh, national, state, as well as county economic indicators. We've looked at um, over 10 years of data, and we have made our projections based on um, what is happening around us, um, as well as uh, you know what our numbers tell us. Uh, there's a wealth of experience in the finance office um, we have worked very hard to make sure that these numbers are correct, um, and we are not in any ways trying to inflate any numbers. We are basing this based on actual projections that we have for this year um, that we have then used for next year. So just wanted to clarify that. Um, 